Hi guys, this is tablenews.com and it's been a while. This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e and we're here for an unboxing of the device. It's supposed to be a high mid-range tablet that's, well, very light and also very slim. Actually, the slimmest in the world right now at 5.55 millimeters in waistline. So it may be an unboxing, but it's not exactly the first contact. I've played with the device for the past few days and I'm ready to share some impressions about it. So here we go. First things first. It's made of aluminum and obviously we have here a 4G LTE version of the device. I'm pretty blown away by the fact it's so slim and so light, very easy to grasp with a single hand and you're going to be doing that when reading and maybe some other tasks. It was launched in April and we have the LTE version and uh, it costs around 400 bucks on Amazon.com. It measures 5.55 millimeter in thickness. I don't know if you can see how slim this device is and it weighs a decent 400 grams. And uh, this is the facade and I think I'm going to fire it up. Uh, actually, we have the power button here, which also embeds the fingerprint scanner. So here we go. There's going to be a lot of reflections here. Uh, as it usually happens with tablets. So Galaxy Tab S5e. This year Samsung felt the need to not only launch a Tab S6 flagship but also several mid-range slates. Now inside the box you're going to be getting this little charger here which provides 9 volt 1.67 ampere charging or 5 volt 2 ampere charging. So far so good. And then we have this key here used to access the slots and oh something else as well here it seems like an adapter from USB-C to audio jack so obviously we're lacking an audio jack even though when it comes to acoustics the phone is pretty well set up I'm talking of course about the quad speakers with AKG tuning and I'm not even done yet okay we're getting here a bunch of manuals quick start guide and warranty card and just when you think there was nothing else there's this one here it's a cable uh, it goes from USB type C to USB type A and you're going to hook it up to the charger you just saw before that's about it nobody's demanding headphones bundled with a tablet okay so let's get straight to it let's focus on the device for a bit you're going to be using this for gaming maybe some work and it, since it has LTE you're going to be using it while on the go obviously we have a pin because we have a sim card inside and this device obviously runs on Android I mentioned the size before now the display you're seeing here is a 10.5 inch Super AMOLED with a resolution of 2560 over 1600 pixels now it's got an atypical CPU inside one would believe it's probably an Exynos but it's actually not an Exynos it's a Snapdragon, Qualcomm Snapdragon 670, octa-core accompanied by 4 or 6 gigabytes of RAM. And uh, aside from that, we have 128 gigabytes of storage and the microSD card slot. The battery already sounds good at uh, 7040 mAh. And as I said before, a bunch of speakers. We got one here, one here, two of them so far. And then we have one here, one here. So quad speaker setup. Okay. Uh, Oh, here we go. Uh, this is One UI. That's what's applied on top of Android. It's good old One UI. Uh, and I think I'm going to go to the web browser and uh, fire up our typical website, tabletnews.com, in case you haven't visited it in a while. We've covered a bunch of things. And among those things were the fact that Microsoft is preparing a Surface event on October 2nd. Here we go. Tablet News. And here we go. This is our website, Huawei Mate X, LG tablets and all that. Now back to this slate here, I talked about RAM, the battery, the storage and all that. And let's talk about the cameras for a bit. Okay, so we turn the device around in order to find at the back side a 13 megapixel shooter without any sort of LED flash, but it shoots video in 4K, 30 frames per second. And I did that and it's quite okay. Here you can see the AKG branding, AKG tuning, and at the front an 8 megapixel camera which should help with your Skype calls and all that. We have also GPS and a special connector uh, for the smart keyboard accessories and all that so you can hook up accessories to your slate. 
Once again, I often picked it up with one hand, use it with one hand because it's so light. Not a big fan of the format, the bezels are kind of big, but hey, everybody is keeping the big bezels even in 2019. And as you can see, we also have Bixby here. Let me just check if there's a Bixby button. I can't seem to find one here. Uh, nope, just the volume and the power button. And that's it. So Bixby is only an aggregator of information on this slate. Since it has one UI, obviously it should have the night mode, it should be here somewhere. I see there's also some Dolby Atmos. Uh, and here we go, this is the night mode, just in case you're wondering. Okay, so that's about it. I would say almost first contact, because I play with it a few days, first contact and unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e. So far so good, it works great when it comes to the games when it comes to doing some e-reading, and I'm pretty sure that uh, Samsung threw in some productivity apps. I see OneDrive is in the mix, I see the calendar, of course, we also have uh, Spotify, a game launcher, so maybe not as much work as fun. Let's see here, Internet, Galaxy Store, Samsung Flow, uh, they also usually bundled some more Microsoft stuff like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and all those, but you can easily download them. Anyways, that's about it, very light, excellent screen, excellent brightness and a rather crisp image in both landscape and portrait, that's more like it. And let's actually check out the keyboard to see how we're doing with the input. Okay. And here we go. This is the input. Of course, you can change it. I'm sure it can hover. And uh, I will get back to you if there is any sort of support for the S Pen. I'm guessing there is. That's about it for 400 bucks. It's actually a pretty solid deal. It's solidly built, even though I wouldn't try bending it because it's so slim. This has been the unboxing and first impressions for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e. To be honest, I'd actually go ahead and buy this one over the Tab S6, which sounds a bit too powerful and overcomplicated for me. This is it from us. Bye bye.